Hello everyone. So let's get into our message, daily message. We're going to see what we need to surrender today and then we're going to pull some tarot. So let's get into this message. All right, let's see what's coming up. What do we need to let go of? What do we need to surrender? What do we need to surrender at this time? Probably a lot of things. These probably are still holding on to some things. So let's see what we need to let go of and surrender. What do we need to surrender? Surrender your fear of intimacy. You're ready to let love in, compassionately identify and begin to release any patterns that stop you from opening your heart. Yes, so then on the bottom, surrender to miracles. Yes, anything's possible. Um, the betrayals, the hurts, um, the, your belief systems, how you feel about yourself, uh, heartbreak, betrayals, all that can stop us from opening our heart space. So it is time to let, let, let it go. Um, forgive and open our heart space of course you know you have to have healthy boundaries but you know this is being discerning as well but you know connecting again so let's go ahead and get our tarot to this one more okay on the bottom is rest and recovery rejuvenating so if you need to take a step back and you know get yourself together I feel like this is self-care as well just because you're in a relationship doesn't have to be all about that person all the time you know you need to take care of yourself too so again this is like filling that cup which was our card of the day so filling your own cup first so you'll have the uh, capacity and energy and Keep your heart open for others. Be compassionate to others. We have to be compassionate towards ourselves. Again, you know, we always use that analogy of the plane when they tell us to put the oxygen on us first. We have to fulfill ourselves first so we can be able to uh, help others as well. So with this surrender to fear, our fear of intimacy, you know, remaining who you are, standing in your wholeness as well, you know, um, having your things that you uh, like to do, your creativity, your individuality, before you can also connect to others. So this is not losing yourself in a relationship, you know? Once we throw all our eggs in somebody else's basket, that's a chance to be discouraged. Uh, we put all our expectations, we're gonna be uh, disappointed because, you know, they're an individual too, right? So this is taking small steps, planning, being methodical, you know? listening to those red flags, trusting our intuition, but setting our intentions and starting this new beginning to things that we are passionate about, our own creativity. You know, this is being ourselves, you know, being able to connect to who we are and do live our life and have our hobbies and our, 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 our individual life so we can connect to someone else. There has to be this balance. You can't just throw all your bag, eggs in somebody else's basket and think that all of everything's going to be all right. So in order to have this uh, open heart and space for individuals and connect to an intimate level, we also have to make sure our intimate self is fulfilled. So, you know, and also that you, you know, have that way of having your own life as well you can't just like throw everything into this person your whole life's about this person because that's going to put a lot of expectations it's not really fair to them or you and you know you have to have that individuality as well as that togetherness so to be able to be more intimate and more loving and more compassionate to someone else of course you have to fill your own cup too so i love that that came out with this ace of cups today so make sure you know you're healing from those old past hurts Maybe look at it. Maybe your last relationship was you did give everything to someone else and forgot about yourself. You have to fill your own cup first, okay? And you have to have your own individual life as well, you know? There's a balance. There's definitely a balance here. There's definitely a balance that you need to be able to do your own thing. So, you know, that's like, you know, having still your friends, your hobbies, you know, not letting those go away or putting them on a shelf because of somebody else, okay? You know, this is even um, when you guys 
go out or date or anything, taking turns of what you both enjoy. You might not like what they want to do, but you know, being that balanced, centered person that this week we do what you like to do and then next week we do what I do. So it's having that individuality. You know, don't lose yourself in a relationship. All right? Open yourself up, but don't lose yourself. All right? So that's your message today. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Oh, and you, oh, wait. This also does not have to be romantic. This could be like even parents doing it for their kids. Of course, you know, your kids have to come first, but you know, as they grow up, sometimes we want to have them constantly in our life and we are fed by their life as well. But then they kind of start separating from us and having their own life. And then we're lost because we don't have that anymore. It's like that was our whole life. So having your individuality is very important, you know? in any kind of connection you have to have your own individuality you have to fill your own cup first and you still have to you know nurture your own life and soul um and that and that will ultimately connect you more on an intimate level because you'll be your cup will be fulfilled and you'll be happy and you'll have more love to give and more gratitude so that is your message today thanks so much for watching take care